Now, the first part, we will create our feature file. We'll create a new file. I will save it under Cucumber, for example. Here, I will create a new file. I will call it Cucumber Resources and we will use it as a workspace even later and then we will call it person feature dot feature okay so here in visual visual studio code he will if you don't have this plugin installed he will he will uh, show a pop up saying that the marketplace has extensions uh, that that can help with feature files so we will show, we will search in the in the marketplace and we will install the cucumber gherkin support so as you can see here it will provide us it will help us writing the steps okay so i think it's ready now we will start with our feature the feature name is we will call it person person sorry testing feature okay feature description or we will not use this part here to do comments you need you we we need to use the dash okay so this file contains the different scenarios to test our person service for example we can add for example something something else to it's the the business uh, analyst or the business team uh, job to define uh, for example if we have uh, prerequisites or uh, or something like that for example uh, for this service we don't need a database connection to store and find persons another comment the list the persons the managed persons they need to be stored in a list in the memory okay so now we will start by creating our first scenario the first one is for example initializing initializing a given list of persons given here he tell us start to type your given step here I have the static method which initialize a list of persons when I connect for example I can see the size of initialized list of person then the list size is equal 
to, for example, let's say three. Okay, so this is our first scenario. We will add a comment here. First scenario to initialize the list of persons. Okay. So guys, if uh, if you want, you can uh, you can send me a message if you really want to to persist this list of persons in, in the database. So I can uh, I can update this course and uh, and create this part specially for for this. I will add it as an extension to this course. So okay, this is the first scenario. The second one. creating a new person given okay we will try to to take the given the list of persons contains three persons already stored when I create a new person with random entries then I get the ID of the new person and the list contains more than three persons. This is the second scenario. Okay, I will add a comment, create a new person Sorry, here it's random with random entries. Okay. Now I will add another scenario create a person bulk creation. The scenario is creating a list of persons uh, okay we will call it just bulk creation given as we said the list of persons contains three persons already stored okay when here we will see this one when I create a new person with first name and last name and age then for for this case for example we, we will provide uh, three three different uh, entries for uh, three new persons for example then the list uh, okay 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 then I get the ID of the new person and the list contains more 
than three persons. Okay, and here, as we see, as we saw here, we need to provide the list. Okay, examples one first name, last name, and age. First name, let's say it's Ali. The last name and the age is 30. I'm a little bit old. Yeah, I know. Okay. Here, let's say uh, Mark Depon and he's 40. Three, for example, this one we will say he's a young man, and we will say his family name is uh, Jobs, and his first name is Mike. And here only it's only to format. Okay, so this is as you can see when I when I when I type shift or uh, sorry control on Windows uh, for the Windows users or command for the for the Mac users when I type command and click he will give me he will point to to the given example. Okay. So this is for the bulk creation. Now we will create a scenario for updating. An existing person. Okay. The scenario is update a given or update a person by ID. When I will copy paste just to gain time when when I update a user or a person with uh, okay a person first okay let's say we will do okay when I update a person data with we take this and they will add ID here. Then I get the person updated, for example. And I will take this one, this example, and I need to add ID okay let's say one two and three okay here we will say it's Ali one Ali two and the mic two just an example to, to show you how it works and I will do the same and age I will increase each one by one and 21 so like this like this we will see we will uh, in the implementation part we will see if we are able to update 
this this part okay so here we now the next part we will see the data the next scenario we will see the data data tables okay so we will create before we will create a, a delete scenario scenario is here I'm sorry it's a scenario outline like this and here also yeah because as as we saw here if we, every time we have examples oh, sorry my bad every time we have uh, example we need the keyword scenario outline okay so now delete a given person given this will be always the same here and here sorry it's given when I delete a person with ID one, for example, then the given user, the given person is deleted and the list size is equal to two. Okay. Okay, so uh, here also, if you want, he, uh, here this one will be uh, will be a regex expression. So we can pass as to our method, to our test method, uh, a parameter uh, of type uh, string or uh, uh, or long or or a double or a number. Uh, so Gherkin he will do the conversion automatically. Okay. So this is uh, the deletion uh, deletion part. Now uh, we will uh, we will see how to. Okay, we will start implementing this, and then we will go back and update and update the scenario, so we can use the data tables. Okay. So this is this is how we write feature files and. Uh, and now we will move on to create our Java part or the Java project and implement this feature file.